Mais non, il y a une nationalité. 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 Yes, all again, it's a new and 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 Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So Christ is telling, so a young man came to Christ and he's asking this Christ, he said, good master, what good thing must I do in order for, him, for me to make it in the kingdom? Here's what he said. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So Christ saying, even though you're seeing us here, we are not good. He's saying, you're seeing you, you are not because there's only one good. Yes, so I'll answer that question just now. Let me explain something. Well, there is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So God said, if it is that you have to enter into life, you have to keep his commandments. That's right. Which is what? But if you have to enter into eternal life, you must keep God's commandments. Right? Do you know God's commandments? What it entails? There are over 600 commandments which the most high will have given to us. Yeah, right. Do you know that you are in transgression of a, of a few right now? Do you know that you are in transgression of a few right now? What is it? Okay. Now, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 37. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So God said, if it is that you are the nation of Israel, you have to make fringes in the border of your garments. But just upon that fringe, here's what he said out. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So throughout your generations, when I want people to keep on regenerating, 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 we... No, not change. Because laws don't change. He said, we want to tell all people keep making people. No. 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 Right. Right. So why don't you What land are you in right now? Exactly. What land are you in right now? This is the land of our enemies. Yes. Our enemies, this is the, our enemies' land. This is not our land. And we our, our enemies. We have enemies. Yes, we yes. have enemies. Sister, so I, I perceive that you have a very deep misunderstanding. No, no, no. Give me, no, give me, give me. I'll give it. Give me Psalms 82. Give me Psalms 82. I'm going to show you, Sister, and I'm going to give you a proper understanding today of what it is that God requires of our people. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. God is saying that there's a group of there's groups of people who have consulted, they have taken crafty counsel against God's people. Here's why I said, right? Boy. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So the, our enemies said, let us cut them off from being a nation of people. This is this is repeat from verse one in Romans in Psalms 84. Not, not, not so sure. Okay, also, what did God say 
Is this true? Give me, give, me, give me two minutes. Let me explain to you. Let me show you how we're enemies, right? That they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So they, they say that, come, let us cut off the nation of Israel. All the people from the nation of Israel, they cut them off so that they would not be a nation. Amen? Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. He said, cut, they are going to be going and cut them off from the other nation so that the name of Israel will be no more. Paul the truth. And I want to show you who your enemy is. Luke 21. This is the book of Luke chapter 21, verse 21. Then let them, and verse 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, they know that the desolation thereof is nigh. So Christ is telling the nation of Israel, he's saying, when you see Jerusalem is in compassion with the Roman army, know for sure that the nation of Israel is going to be destroyed. Here's what he said. Then let them which are in Judea. So he's saying, let the people, let the Israelites who are in Judea flee to the mountains, flee into Africa. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. So those people who are in the country parts of Jerusalem do not enter into Jerusalem for that six year period. Just we are telling you, we are explaining to you their direct name. Let me show you something. We are going to show you where Africa is. We are going to show you. We are not trying to deceive you. We are explaining to you. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So these be the days of vengeance. Vengeance which must, which are written in the Bible that to take place at towards the nation of Israel that they may be fulfilled. Okay, hold on one question. Today's day, who are Israel's enemies? Number 32. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from the Indian nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. Israel, um, Israel enemies are everyone except Israel. That's right. That's right. That's Israel enemies. How do you know that? So who are you? Who are the ones fighting for the good of Israel? All right. I am not. I am not. All right. All right. Next, please. So I perceive you're an African. From you're born in Africa. So what are you then? African descent. I've already told you in history. What are you, sister? African descent. African descent also, right? Because we were told that by our what? Slave oppressors in slavery, right? That we came in from Africa, right? Give me the sign. Give me the sign. That's right. Give me the sign. Read this. Read this. Make sure this says here. To be sold. One and two and twenty-eight day of I can't make it out. A cargo of night for prime the Africans. Negroes. Give me the Bible dictionary. Negroes. Not Africans. Negroes. No. Negro means black. That's correct. So I'm gonna ask you this. An Egyptian is what? It's a black person, right? Is he an African? Is that what? All right, good. He's not black, but he's, a, he's an Egyptian. All right. An Ethiopian. Is he an African? Ethiopian, right? Ula. An Israelite. Is he an African? He's an Israelite. No, no, no. All right, let's go back now. An Ethiopian. What is he? Is that what? He's, a, he's an African. He could, how could he be an African if he's an Ethiopian? What if that doesn't mean I'm an African? 
Exactly. No, 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 no. This is what I'm saying. Like, for example, the Caucasian people who grew up in Africa, are they Africans? In South Africa, are they Africans? Yeah? So the Africans? So, I, so you hear what you're saying? So a white person coming on here. Sorry? So, the Af so anybody born in Africa are African. That's what you're saying now. So then you're not an African then. Because you were born in Africa. No, no, no. But you're not born in Africa. No, you can't. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. Now let's go back now. Watch what the Bible dictionary says of what and who are we. Watch it. This is a Zonovan Bible Dictionary. Definition of the name Ham. You know what's Ham, right? Ham was the youngest son of Noah, right? Right. Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? Let's go it. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. Flood, the flood came and washed the whole earth up. Watch this. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So Ham became the forefathers of the of the dark races. Watch it. Not the Negroes. Yeah, this is this again. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Not the Negroes. Hold up. Get that sign again. Because you need to know who is the Negroes. Watch it again. He became it's a Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. I'm going to show you the exact. Zondervan is a scholar. He's a white scholar. And he put this together. And what, what exactly is that? Wait, this is a Zondervan Compact Bible. It's a Bible so, dictionary. Um, add it new to the Bible. No, no, add it new to the Bible. I'm going to show you what it is. The Negro is a black person, right? Right. But he's showing you not all black people are African. That's what he's showing you. Because at one time, listen, at one time, this whole earth had only dark skinned people. That's right. Because that's common sense. I'm going to show you out of the Bible the very same but thing. I, who is he? Who is he? Why not just follow? The Bible, the Bible is the same thing. I'm going to show you. I'm, that's what I'm going to show you. Watch this. Read him. He became the progenitor, which means the forefather, watch it, of the dark races, not the Negroes. So he did not become the forefathers of the Negroes. Ham was not the forefathers of the Negroes. Ham is the forefathers of the African continent people, right? Where you got from the Bible. I'm going to show you after. Well, I read. Listen, and you will hear. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Ethiopians Libyans, Libyans, and Canaanites. And Canaanites. Those were the races that he created. Go to Genesis chapter 10 now, and I'm going to show you where Ham, same thing what he said, is the exact same thing here. That's good. Good morning, Good morning. Have it. Then Listen. Have it. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 5. By these were the eyes of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one of his tongue after their families in their nations. And the sons of Ham. Some of Matter Ham, just like the Bible dictionary said. Ham, watch it. Kush, Kush is Ethiopians. And Mizraim. Mizraim is Egyptians. And Foot, Foot is Libyans. And Canaan. And Canaan is South Africans. Those are the sons of Ham. Israel descend out of Shem. So they are not the same lineage as Ham. Ham is Africa. We have the, that's the Bible. That's what I had to go to the dictionary. Do you speak Hebrew? If you don't speak Hebrew, I will read a Hebrew Bible to show you the difference. You don't. Right. So, this is just a show you. It's the same thing. Now watch it. So, Israel, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons. Those 12 sons became the nation of the Israelites. You ready? You with me so far? You with me so far? Israel name was Jacob was changed to Israel. He had 12 sons. Those are the children of Israel. Their descendants had children so forth, and they became a nation of Israel. You understand me so far? Now watch this now. Now give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. 
another. Twenty dollars again. Keep, keep, stay close, stay close. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse one. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites, right? Watch this. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is saying, in the future it shall come. In the future, if the Israelites listen to God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. So God is saying, in the future, if the Israelites listen, he's going to put them above all people. So what does that mean? That means that God said, Israelites are above. Everybody is not equal when it comes to Israel. Israel is always above, because that's God's chosen people. Agree? Now go to verse 15 now. This is the flip side to the contract. Watch this. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is saying now, it shall also come to pass, but this time if you don't listen, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command you this day that all his curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God is saying in the future curses will come upon the Israelites if they don't keep his commandments. Give me verse 46. Verse 46. And it shall be upon thee for a sign. So this will be the curse shall be upon the Israelites in the future for a sign. Like KFC, Scotia Bank, Sioux Market, First Citizen Bank, Courts, all these signs that denote certain things. Like you ain't going to pizza and ask for a whole sign chicken roti. Because you know pizza man represents pizza. So that's what he signed. So the sign will be upon the Israelites in the future, so you know who are the Israelites in the future. So let's read on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So upon the Israelites' children, children, children forever. So now we're going to take a look into the future. Right. I'm going to show you who the Israelites are. All right, go ahead. Well, that's why the Bible so said, the Bible why? said, so, listen. Why, hold on. Why, Did I say black? No, no, no. Seems like black, right? Okay. But all right, are these black? Let me in the end, say them black. All right, let me ask you something. And I have one more question. Okay. I'm again. Go, right? But you can't ask me something on the run. That doesn't make sense. What exactly is right, let me answer the first question first, right? Let me answer the first question first. First of begin, according to this Bible here, right. God is only concerned about the Israelites. Alright? Give me a look at the state. New, New Testament. We we'll go to the New Testament. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna show you. Servants. I'm gonna show you what God says. What? Do you want to hear God's word? Hear what God I'm not gonna use my words. Watch what God says. This is a book of Luke. Chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of the whole world. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Is the God of so this came, Bible is the God of Israel. When he came, John 3 16, you want to go there? When he came, right. who did I for black people? He died for Israelites. That's right. That's right. That's right. So nobody else could see him. No, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I, so listen, listen, give me Acts 5 5 to you. Listen, Acts 5 to you. Watch this. Israel, listen. Israel, what you got? All right, but yeah, listen. Oh, let me show you. Well, maybe I'm doomed, but the Bible words still stand, right? Watch it. Acts five thirty. Watch it. This is a book of Acts chapter five verse thirty. Acts chapter five verse thirty. I'm gonna start from twenty nine. Verse twenty nine. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So we here, you all to should obey God and not man, right? right. Now this is what, what is what is the instruction? Watch it. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hung on a tree. Did not this slew Jesus on a tree? Right. right, watch it. Him had God exalted with his right hand, gave him power to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to give repentance to to Israel to who 
Israel, why are you Israel and are forgiveness you of sins. Unforgiveness. But you just hear that for why yourself. Can you quote John 3, Let's get it. John 3, 16. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That's the only scripture you know. No, you're wrong. Call another scripture. Call another scripture, call another scripture where everybody God fits in. Call another scripture. All right. Oh, 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 that man beat that in you. He beat that in you. That's why you don't understand the Bible. Give me Acts chapter 2, verse 27. Two verse two 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 I never said white. I am saying what the Bible said. Watch this. They have. Who is this man? Is he Christ? Is he Christ? Who is he? So Christ, oh, no, is so, Christ. so Christ won't be word invisible. Is that Christ? Right? Is that Christ? He looks more like this than no. that. According to the Bible, is what is it? Mm. This is a book. That is an image. It's not graven. What is graven mean? What is graven mean? What does graven mean? You don't even know what graven mean. What mean? This is a book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, right? Whosoever. But your pastor always stops right there. You need to read the next line. Read it. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Hear these words. You know they are speaking you know to Israelites. That's right. That's right. right. Go to Israel to believe. Go and believe. Don't believe. They say they are saved. They are waiting for the Messiah. Wait, you want to cross it? Those are not Israelites. I right, go to Revelation 2 and 9. Bring it on! I'm going to show you what I did. You need to read your Bible. Watch it. I read my Bible. You never read, you don't understand. So, no, no, no. I want you to explain John 3 16 to me. I'll explain, but let me get it. Read the verse first. No, 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 I'm no, no. running. Explain I'm running. Now. Read it. This is a book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Because God knows the real tribulation, the real Jews. And the real. Read the book. But thou art rich. But who are rich? Israel is rich because the kingdom is for Israel. Read on. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And God said, we know the lies of them who say they are Jews. Who call themselves Jews today? I never said I was a Jew. I said Israelite. Who? Which race of people? Sister, hold on. We're going to get it after. Which race of people call themselves Jews today? No, you don't say. You don't answer. No, we go, we're going to get, get that. We will get that. Who call themselves Jews today? The so called white man in Israel. Right? But listen to what God said. Watch this. Who call themselves Jews? I'm Jewish. I'm Jew. Hanukkah. They call themselves Jews. The whole world knows them as Jews. But God said they are lies. Watch this. Read again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Christ said they are not. Read on. But at the synagogue of Satan. Christ said they are the synagogue of Satan. You go watch them. Let's get John 3, 14. Let's read now. John 3, 16, John 14, 6. All right, we, let's get John 3, 16, please. Right, All right, let's get... The Father, but by me, Who is he speaking to? No one. General. General. If you can read John 16, let's get... Let's get John 3, 16. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get John 3, 16. But we're going to start from 14, please. Watch this. This is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 14. 16, 16, 16. Verse 14. Okay. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So we read it from 14, but on 16, right? As Moses raised up the serpent in the wilderness. Who Moses was with in the wilderness? Who Moses was with? He was with? In the wilderness, yes. Israelites, right? So as Moses lifted up the serpent to the Israelites, watch this. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Which world? Isaiah 45, 17. What we live in which world? 
No, no, no. There are many different types of wool. There's sea wool. There's a black market wool. There are many. You say, you sometimes. You say, what? Sometimes you has been your own wool. And you has been your own wool sometimes. Because wool has many different definitions. Watch this. I just put the price on you. Watch it. Hold on. All right, watch this. Because the wool you was talking about is the wool of Israel. Watch this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Israel is the world. World without end. They shall be saved for an everlasting salvation. Nobody else, nobody's going to be saved. Matthew 15, 24. I was trying to explain to you, you are an Israelite because your father, you need, you need to see the sign. I never said complexion. If they are not born of Israel, you cannot be of Israelite. Yes, we are born of Israel. Because as I said before, the curses have to apply to you. The curses have to apply to you. No, if it's a Chinese, you know who you are. If you're a Chinese, you know who you are. Watch this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, I did not come, but only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Romans right. chapter 9. Watch this. Watch Romans chapter 9. It's a clean cup. So you can't come back. No, because I'm going to give you a scripture verse where you need to hear. Watch no. it. For your pastors right. don't read this. Watch it. This is the we book of Romans <laughs> chapter 9 and verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. Paul said, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Christ and um, Paul is not lying. I My conscience know. also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. From Christ. For my brethren. For my brethren. Who's Christ? Who's and Paul brethren? Ha <laughs> You stay where I am. My kinsmen, my kinsmen, listen, listen, to this bread, according to this bread, watch it, according to the flesh, according to the flesh, watch it, I'm going to show you that, I can do that, watch it, I'm going to show you, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption, we bind back, we don't, and the glory, and the covenant, old and new covenant, we don't, and the giving of the law. Because Israel was the only nation given the law. What is sin? What is sin? What is sin? And then what? You see, what do you say? Transgression of God's law. So what's it? What's it? This is, brethren, this is very simple. Who was given the laws? Right? What is sin? Transgression of laws, right? What is a sinner? Anybody who transgressed what? Who was given any laws? Who Christ came to save? Sinners. Sinners, right? So is that what? Now let me show you how we are Israelites. Go back into Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Okay, I need to show you. You are an Israelite, but you are stubborn. Yes, you are. No, yeah, but you are stubborn. And the only way you're going to maintain that you're going to maintain that is if you keep it though. I would like, I don't know, I can't wait until they probably, probably make it to heaven. Probably? So you think you're going to heaven? I don't know, I need to make something. Oh, so how you can say I don't think I'm going to make it to heaven? No, 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 because you're misguided. You are misguided. All are misguided. And you're not misguided right now? By who? By who? Oh, you're not misguided. Now my dad, I'm starting to, um, this was a pregnant and I'm sure what I thought. What's somebody make up? Really? Because clearly nobody see God. Uh, so really? So, Caroline, so the boy? So, why do you all have that what great image there representing? That is not a graven image, sister. A graven image is when you carve something out. It doesn't matter. No, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, God. You all have this out here, you all have this This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wood. Christ's head and his hairs were white like wood. Is this white like wood? Is this white like wood? Listen to me, sister. Look this way. Look this way. Look this way. Is this here white like wood? 
Brethren, is this here white like wool? Okay. No, we don't. As white as snow, is this here white like snow? No, we don't. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were red like fire. Is his eyes red? No, no, we don't. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is he? He's pale. Listen to me. The Bible said Christ was dark. That's what the Bible said. All right, let me read again. What color is brass? What color is brass? What color is brass? Brown, right? Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn brass in furnace, what color would it come out? Darker. So very dark. So Christ was a very dark man with white woolly hair. That's why the lie churches have been perpetrating for us far too long. That's why you want to save everybody because you hate yourself and you hate your people. You hate yourself. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? No. Come, Angela. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven, Angela? How, Angela, do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Hold on, sister. Angela, how do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Yeah, go ahead. What else? What, what is that? What does that mean? For the commandments, right? You mean for the laws? Right. You mean for the laws? Do you follow the laws? Do you follow the laws? No, you can't. Today's one. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does mean? What does that 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 mean? What Keep, are you keeping me with Angela? Yes, I am. That's why we are here. We are sent to wait for the clock. Today, yes, I am. Show me a sin. Show me. Well, I don't know what tomorrow will take, but right now, I am not in sin. Right now, I am not in sin. That's right. Right at this point in time, yes, I can show you you are in sin. I'm good to do. But right so now, sister, is, sister, is, right now, I can't say. He is biased. He is biased. He is biased. Give me. I'm going to show. Does not God have? Does have not God, Did not God choose Israel out of everybody? Did not God do? Did not God choose Israel out of everyone? Give me that in um, a cup of coffee. If you love God. If God is love, why would he give everyone? God is love, right? Wait, wait, wait. God is love. Give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah. If we love, if we love, if we love, if we love, I need to go. I need to go. Well, do see that. Wait, wait, wait. My name is not Angela. This is a book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. Lord of what? A man of war. God is a man of war. He punishes people for disrespecting so him. Why he ain't striking you down now? Why? Well, because I'm in sin. I'm in sin. Yes, yes, how, how, how is that wrong? You all are perfect. How is this wrong? You are in sin. You are in sin. Give me number 15 to 3. No, we don't do that. Right. No, we know that. You are in sin. Why is this being striked now? Why is nobody being striked now? Because you have grace. Right. We have grace. And we all have grace. Uh, until when? Until when? Until until Christ comes. What is it? This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. I'm speaking unto you, your child of God. We are all children of God once we accept Him. I'm telling you, need to wear fringes on your gown. Why not wear robes as well? Purple robes. Why not? Why? On the borders of your garment. We don't. Throughout your generation, throughout your generation, you're supposed to have on fringes on your garments. We don't. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a robe. Robes. That's not a robe. I need to go. Enjoy the rest of the day. Sister, you need, sister, you sister, you need to dress more appropriate than that. That's right. So why, why aren't you doing it? Why? Don't worry, I will start wearing fringes and robes too. Here it is before you go. James 4 and 17. This is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 17. 
Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, to him that knoweth to do the righteous way, and doeth it not, and doeth it not, and Angela, to him it is sin. To him it is sin. Abiola, to you it is sin. You continue in sin. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.